Hello, I love making videos about stuff. None of the rest of these knuckle dragon monkeys on YouTube have made videos on. Especially when it comes to cameras, right? Uh, almost none of them have taken any cameras apart, much less hundreds of cameras. By the way, this is the back of a Nikon D500. Here's a fact, and this, <laughs> this is not about sensor cleaning, but uh, it's ridiculous how scared people are to clean their own sensor, especially for the first time. Now, here's a question that no one's made a video on. What is the, and all these damn cameras, these digital cameras, are the same, okay? They got a main board inside, which would be like the motherboard of a computer, right? We got a shutter Mac, we have a sensor assembly. Depending on the camera, we got an e LCD display, we got an EVF, and we actually have a mirror box mechanism, or the mirror mech. There's actually a bunch of gears, kind of like a clockwork, you know, an old cuckoo clock that has all the gears and crap. There's actually, now it's on the right side of a DSLR camera that actually operates not only the mirror, but also the timing, okay, in the case of a DSLR. Now, what is the most sensitive? Oh my God, a sensor is so sensitive. You've actually got that 100% wrong, and it doesn't matter if it's a DSLR sensor or a mirrorless sensor. You're completely wrong. What? If you go down that list of the main components inside your camera, what is the most sensitive part in there? Yeah, I bet you think it's a sensor. Actually, all the uh, digital sensors, I don't care if it's Nikon or Fujifilm or Canon or Sony, it doesn't make any difference. All of those sensors are hermetically sealed. Yeah, but the sensors, you're never touching the sensor when you clean it. On top of that sensor, depending on the sensor, uh, you actually have a plate of glass. And you have an IR pass filter. Some of the IR pass filters are a film sandwiched between glass. Uh, some of them are actually incorporated or fused into the glass itself. Okay, there's a hermetic seal of cover glass over top of the sensor because the silicone wafer lithography um, of every digital camera sensor is really fragile. And of course that sensor is mounted onto a main board assembly, right, which is a little PCB board in the back. You've got uh, the analog to digital converters. You have uh, an array of components, but the whole unit is one assembly. But if you actually take the sensor out of a camera, and I got a bunch of sensors over in the drawer here, I guess it would have been good if I take them out. They're hermetically sealed. There's no chance in hell of you ever touching the sensor, ever. That's also the reason why all these sensor cleaning companies that uh, sell kits to clean. So if you damage your sensor, we'll replace your kit. You're never going to damage your sensor because it is absolutely impossible, even if you stab the sensor paddle into your camera, you're never going to touch the sensor. So you got a, a piece of glass that's hermetically sealed over the sensor, more cover glass containing the IR hot filter, and then another piece of cover glass. The sensor, interestingly enough, as a shock to most people, is the least sensitive component in your camera. In other words, if you like were to stick your camera in the water, which you should not be doing, the thing that would come out least scathed would be the sensor assembly. Now, the components and the soldering on the back of the PC board is of the sensor assembly is a different story. That's actually, uh, uh, in most cases, I've seen actually some that were silicon sealed, but most of them are not, as sensitive as the main board on the camera. The shutter mag, now if the blades are actually exposed, are incredibly fragile, and this is why you want to keep dust out of your mirror box and out of your mount, because when the blades are actually operating incredibly fast, they both have uh, two curtains, and each curtain contains three blades for six blades total. They're incredibly, incredibly flimsy. So it's moderately fragile, and of course, if you get dust in there, they actually warp at ultra-high speeds, at uh, high shutter speeds, and when they start to warp, then it causes premature failure of the shutter mech. Yeah? But they're still ultimately not that fragile and, you know, no one, you know, unless you like throw dirt in there that the blades are going to crash into, it's still not fragile. No. LCD? Yeah, it's still sealed. I mean, you could crack it and drop it. I mean, it's moderately fragile. What's fragile actually is the, uh, the flexi cable that feeds on the back of all uh, cameras that actually have 
removable screens, uh, movable, not removable, excuse me, this little caber down here is insanely fragile, but you should never be touching that anyway. Um, the EVF, the electronic uh, viewfinder, is hermetically sealed. I got a couple of those over in the drawer over here. There's no chance under any conditions that you're going to actually damage the EVF. It's basically impossible, the same as with your sensor. Um, the sensor is, in fact, the least sensitive component in your digital camera. The most sensitive thing is the motherboard, i.e. the main board in your camera. Absolutely, undeniably, the most fragile component. This is also, too, the reason why I've uh, got gaffer's tape on the microphone holes here. And I got gaffer's tape on the bottom of uh, my USB. Also, too, if you're going to take any camera out into bad weather, it's, and I'm going to make a video directly after this, you've got weather sealing all wrong. Everybody talks about lenses and cameras being weather sealed, and they have no idea what the hell they're talking about. So just watching it, you'll actually learn something as opposed to the rest of these idiot videos on YouTube. Type, hey, the lens is weather sealed. Is the camera weather sealed? Total bullshit. Epic bullshit, I'll tell you what. Yeah, but O-rings and gaskets, still bullshit. Nobody knows what the hell they're talking about. They don't distinguish uh, short-term invasive from long-term pervasive. I'll actually give you the true rundown on weather sealing in the video after this. But I just wanted you to know that the crap that you're worried about in your camera is actually the toughest part of your digital camera. Literally, other than the magnesium housing of your camera, the least sensitive and least fragile component in your digital camera is the damn sensor. The very thing that everybody's afraid to clean. Oh my God, the sensor, I'm gonna clean the sensor. Uh, you're never gonna touch the sensor. It's sealed, hermetically sealed, covered in glass, covered in more glass. You're never gonna get near it. Never going to get near it, ever, okay? Now scratching your cover glass which is not the actual cover glass, and there's more glass on top of that containing the IR hot filter, and another piece of cover glass. When you actually say, talk about the sensor stack here, we got to talk about what piece of damn cover glass we're talking about. The glass that's covering the sensor, the, the, uh, <laughs> the, the glass that's covering that with the IR hot filter, or the glass on top of that. <laughs> yeah, it's literally like that. Um... So don't be afraid to clean your sensor. Anybody with a digital camera that does any moderate amount of photography, they need to learn how to clean their own damn sensor, period. Just buy the crap, watch a YouTube video, I've got several of them, on cleaning your sensor, and just do it and stop being afraid. Uh, just, uh, whatever you do, don't buy that uh, sensor cleaning stick that looks like a gummy bear on the end of a stick. Don't ever buy that crap because... Whew, that will actually damage the topmost of your sensor stack or cover glass. Really bad idea. Do never, never buy that. Never even think about using it. So, yes, the most fragile component in any digital camera, I'm going to say it for the fourth time, is your main board, i.e., the motherboard inside your camera. Also, too, every camera company is an asshole Nikon, Fujifilm, Sony, Canon. Every one of them, and I've taken them all apart, not every camera model, but every camera from the... They've all got the same issue. This uh, bare magnesium on the inside, it oxidizes under inclement weather, and uh, the magnesium uh, sloughs off, and it hits the, uh, the main board, i.e. the motherboard, and that's where issues. This is a real issue with Sony. And you see the back side of this, it can be powder coated or it can be painted. If they'd actually just take an extra five cents and five seconds and actually sprayed the inside of this magnesium that is extremely close to the main board, i.e. the motherboard, this would reduce the number of camera failures, oh my god, astronomically so. If I were to use a camera in human conditions, not only would I gaffer tape every possible side panel, I'd also take the back cover off of my camera, doesn't matter which one. This is a Nikon D500 back. And I'd paint the inside of the magnesium casing. This is where tons of failures occur, especially Sony ones. The Sony heat sink actually causes a temperature disparity that sucks in, like a capillary action, moisture to develop on the inside of the magnesium back. It looks like snow, and then it falls on the main board, and then it shorts crap out, and your camera twitches and drools on itself. 
Like, uh, you know, someone having a seizure in an old folks home wearing a diaper, if you know what I mean. This is a serious F up from all these camera companies for not painting the inside of the back of the, uh, of the magnesium chassis. Every Camry company does this BS and it's epic bullshit. It should not be happening. When they're done painting this side of the damn thing, flip it over and spend five seconds and two cents, let's say one cent is probably what it really costs them, and spray the inside of this so that humidity won't attack the magnesium. The bare magnesium, that's what this is, it's bare magnesium. Asshole camera companies doing that crap. They are, they're all assholes for not doing that. Yeah, but it'd take an extra five seconds and five cents to do it. Yeah, they should still do it. They're pricks for not doing that. I think I made myself really clear in this video. Did I? Why, well, yes I did. I hope you like these videos. If you do, you can always click the link below or you can tell me how much you hate me. Send me an email. I was like, I don't like that guy. He's bald and tattooed and he's not very nice. He gives me helpful information and he's not trying to shaft me and sell me something. But I don't like him. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Peace out, Girl Scout. Bye.